team is giving them shots and uh, play defense from one through four. What are the main things? What are the main things you want to work on? Uh, I just want to continue to uh, just fine fine tune my my ball handling, my decision making with the ball, active, uh, coming off ball screens, um, and just learning terminology. The terminology is a whole new language. Um, I just want to make sure that I get that down back so I'm ready to go for whatever team I choose me. What's your biggest strength? Um, I would, it's tough. It's between defense and three-point shooting. Um, and the reason why I say that is because of uh, the confidence that I had uh, coming into this year. Um, but uh, defense for me is always going to be there. I think what that requires is heart, passion, and I want, want to. Um, I think you have to want to stop people. Uh, but as far as what I think I'm pretty strong at be due to the work that I put in, uh, three point shooting. And why should an NBA team draft you? I, I apologize. Why should an NBA team draft you? Uh, once again, um, I have a track record of being a part of a, a traditional uh, a program that has great tradition. And um, I'm all about winning. Um, at every level, I've won a championship. Um, and I, I want to try to just bring that team aspect. I want to be able to be that guy that's a, that's, that's, that does it all. You know, uh, it's a new wave of players that we're seeing that are doing that's doing it now at a high level. Uh, Clay Thompson. Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, you know, I like to compare myself to Danny Green. Um, it's a new wave of those guys who uh, can guard multiple positions, but also uh, knock down open jumpers and get better in the offensive game as their years go in the NBA. What are the teams that you've talked to so far? Uh, I've talked to Atlanta, uh, Boston, Philadelphia, uh, Golden State, uh, Utah, uh, San Antonio, um, the Dallas Mavericks. Indiana Pacers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing any. What was it like when you talked to Boston? Like, is there anything memorable about your conversation with them? It was pretty sweet. Um, Brad Stevens was uh, in the, actually in, our, in my interview. Um, and I, and I, I think what stuck out to me most is um, him and his relationship that he has with his guys due to that college-like environment. Um, just coming out of college, um, it, I think playing for him would be similar to playing for Coach Bennett. Um, you know, a, a guy that he's a player's coach for sure. I've uh, seen what he did at Butler. Um, and then also the tradition there. And I love tradition. I love uh, coming into a program where they're all about winning and they try to find ways to win every single every single day, uh, no matter what. And I think that young program uh, is on the rise. And um, I just, we just talked a little bit about how I can fit in. Did you guys plan, uh, do you plan to work out for them? Did you schedule that at all? Or? Yes, sir. I, I think they're one of the teams that is actually uh, written down in stone at June 1st. Chelsea, your physical presence out there, but a lot of people would say, are you a two or a three? How would you define your position and what value do you bring to a certain team? Uh, I'm both, a two and a three. Um, but I think uh, defensively is where my value will come when it comes to position, uh, because I think I can guard the point guard through the four guy. Um, I can use my strength in the low post maybe, um, but I can also use my length, my quickness, my athleticism on a smaller guard. So um, I think defensively, uh, that's my position, but on offense, uh, natural two guard. Interesting to me, you talk defense, obviously coming from that Virginia cut of defense, which seems to be a cut above everybody else. What specifically does Tony Bennett teach what makes you guys such great defenders? Uh, if I had the time, I could probably give you all the details, <laughs> but um, I guess simply put, it would just be discipline and help, unselfish play. Um, unselfish in the sense of, uh, are you going to be unselfish enough to work hard for your teammate um, to try to uh, make the defense efficient, special, different, um, that makes it hard for teams on a daily basis. So it's tough to explain the principles uh, in a certain short amount of time, but it's, it's good. Give me an NBA comparison for myself. For yourself. Now, I would say Danny Green. Like uh, It's tough to say Kawhi Leonard anymore just because of how he's going into a superstar and so, so is uh, Jimmy Butler. But I would say now like a Danny Green.